So uh, three months ago, or you know, two months ago, uh, when I got my April April bill, it said on my bill for my internet, uh, my overpriced internet, it said, guess what? We're upgrading you to Comcast Ultra for free. All these people have Comcast Blast. And Comcast Blast was like 36.6, but I was getting about 37.7. I, I'm always getting a little bit more than the promised amount, which is nice. And then the, and then said, guess what? You're not going to have 50.10. I was like, yay! So I do a speed test. No, I didn't have 50.10. I still had like 36.6-ish. So then I call them up uh, like a week later when I have a chance when I'm drinking so it's easier to handle talking to this person because uh, they always make you do stupid things like first of all five minutes in a phone tree before you even talk to a human being and, then, and then by the time you talk to a human being you're so angry at yelling at this phone tree you know and then, yeah it's one of those phone trees where you have to talk the worst I'd rather press a button and then um, they tell you to turn off your computer turn off your modem turn off your router even though you say you already did this they don't care so at the time I finally you know have a real conversation with this idiot, and it's never somebody intelligent, never. Um, they're telling me there's a power outage in my area, I'm going to have to call back for them to move me up in the uh, tech support. I'm like, but I don't have an outage, I'm getting internet. They're like, yeah, but you have one in the area and our system won't let you. I'm like, fuck, I have to do this again. So for two weeks I didn't call them, I was like, I'm happy with my slower internet. But then my roommate complained, and he's like, Lexi, call them, Lexi, call them. I'm like, fuck, okay, so I call them up two weeks later when I'm drinking again, and I have to do the whole thing again that I just described earlier with the phone tree and power recycling and all that bullshit. And, but this time there wasn't an outage, luckily. And she's like, well, I can escalate your situation, but I don't know if we can send somebody out. And then she goes into my file, and I actually have a history of calling Comcast because uh, one Christmas for like a week, uh, during my break, they cut off my internet completely and didn't tell me. And this was when I was raiding heavily in WoW. So they have a file about me complaining about their internet. And I guess I was I had written a letter to them, and it was very sternly worded. I'm very good at writing letters for some reason. <laughs> well, maybe because I'm a writer. I was very sternly worded, and I think they put a special note in my file. So now when I call them, when they escalate, they immediately send somebody out to my house, which is nice. So they sent these two guys out to my house, right? Uh, one of them's a really young, like, 20-year-old guy, and one of them's, like, a middle-aged guy who's training to be this Comcast tech, and his background is, like, HVAC. So he, they, come to the, they come to the apartment, they, they look at all my equipment, they look at the wiring, they go up into, like, the crawl space of the building for the, like, there's like, some sort of hookup there. They go into the, uh, the, like, the actual jack, and they look at the wires inside the walls, they look at the wires that go from the outside of the building to the box, and they put a new wire in because they're supposed to now. The, these guys do all these things, and they still can't get my internet to work faster. It's still the same speed. And so they're like, oh, sorry, it's not the wiring. It could be a problem externally, or it could be a problem with your modem. I'm like, okay, so we're, okay, let's test it out. Bring your Comcast modem, and let's see if it's my modem. They're like, oh, sorry, we don't have a modem. I'm like, well, how can you eliminate the problem with my modem if you don't bring your modem that you know works? And they're like, oh, we didn't think of it. I'm like, well, I don't think it's my modem, okay? I just bought the modem like less than two years ago, and it's rated for a gig. And they're like, well, we just don't know. Just buy one anyway. And then they leave, and I don't have my upgrade. So then the day before my trip, and this is the funny part of the story, the day before my trip, uh, the guys who bury the cable, because what happens is when they put a new cable in, they just leave the old one buried, and they just cut the line, and they put a new one in, and it's on the lawn from, like, the box outside to the uh, wall. So it's just sitting there. So somebody has to come in, and this person is not a technical person. Their only job is to bury a cable. They come in, and they literally dig a ditch, put the cable in it, and cover it, and put it underground again. And it's this Mexican guy who does it, actually. He comes in. He buries the cable, and I see him out there again, because I, I usually sit by the, the big glass window that looks out when I'm writing. And he literally goes to the box, and I see this, like, Mexican guy who buries cables for a living fiddling with the box again. I'm like, no way. Not again. Not fucking again. And I'm like, Rumi, check the internet. He checks it. The Mexican guy fixed my internet. <laughs> this is the second time... Last time when I had problems with my internet, it was the, the guys who cut the grass who fixed it at the box. 
So I'm like, Comcast, you need to hire these people and have them be your tech support people, not the idiots that come to your house, waste two and a half hours of your time and tell you it's your modem, but don't bring a modem to test it out. Oh, and here's the other funny thing. The guys that came to my house, they came on a Friday afternoon, which I didn't want because I have a life and I wanted to go do something. And, okay, I don't really have a life, but I wanted to play games. Okay, we'll just pretend I was going to go out. And so for two and a half hours, they sat at my house. My dog hated them, was barking at them. Crumpet hated these guys. And one of the things they did that wasted my time that I didn't mention that pissed me off is the guy had a laptop and he was doing Windows Update while I'm waiting around. I'm like, why are you doing Windows Update? He's like, oh, it just automatically does it. I'm like, you know you can turn off Automatic Update and do it on your own time, right? He's like, oh yeah, I already updated it, but when I had to restart it, it, it had to do the stages. Like, I'm like, you're so unprofessional. You're supposed to be a technical guy and you're sitting at a customer's house doing Windows Update. So yeah, that's my Comcast story. All right, back to gaming. So, but I now have really high speed internet. Let me link you guys proof of this. I'm very happy with my internet.